Well, welcome back to my channel. It's Mama Brooke. Let's go thrifting. So I got into the Goodwill. No lineups, no nothing. Late Friday, around 4 o'clock. But there's really not much here. Like, that's really pretty, but 15 bucks? No, not doing it. I'm still looking for a bunny. I'm also looking for a pot with a little spout on it, like for making sauce or melting butter. I don't know what that's for. Maybe that's like to put in the meatloaf pan and let it drip or something. I don't know. Never seen that before in my life. Well, isn't that pretty? Not. That wasn't even pretty in its day. <laughs> A lot of junk in here, and that's about it. A lot of junk. I'm going to scope the aisles, though. You never know. You might just find something. No. There's really not a lot in here. It's pretty slim pickings. And what is here is way overpriced, so I'm not quite understanding it. All the trinkets are like 8, 10, 12. Like, this is really pretty, but it's beautiful, actually. It's a little perfume bottle or something. It's pinwheel crystal. It's from Sears back in the day. And 10 bucks, see what I mean? That used to be like a buck fifty, two dollars $2, even if it was crystal. Anyways, I feel really sad that there's nothing here. But I'm going to scout the owls. That's a cute little dress. Aw. That's a really cute little summer dress. It's fourteen dollars, so it's not worth fourteen dollars. It probably was that old navy or something for like ten bucks. Uh, but it's cute. It's too small for me, anyways. I don't need any clothes. I'm just taking a jaunder down here to see if there's anything around, because there's not much on the shelves. I'll walk back over to the shelves and then. Oh, is that a fox? Brass fox? Lone fox from YouTube. There you go. Remember these? Everybody had them beside the big gold plastic mirrors with the candles in them. <laughs> they say painted it black. They look nice outside. They've like got a little patio or something. And that was only $3.99. Not too bad. Just looking to see if they have a little pot with a spout. I don't see anything now. Oh, I thought that was like my bowls from England, but it's not. If it was, I would have grabbed it because they're beautiful mixing bowls. I have two big ones. I need the one that's in between size. That might have been it, but it's not. The, it's a reproduction. A lot of glassware. Like, I found these little bowls. I'm going to scout around and see if they're any good or any chips or anything in them. If there's no chips or anything in them, they're really nice. I'll probably pick them up. Let's see. I put things in my cart and then I walk around. And then I look and see what it is. Okay, it's eight bucks for five. Okay, finally got a deal. And they're five inch to 10 or maybe 12 inch. I think I'll get them. Taking a little pass by again and see if I missed anything. You never know. Sometimes they put stuff on the shelf when you're not around, right? When you're not looking. So I did grab these bowls. And I'm just going to wash them up. That's one of my finds. So this is Friday Night Hall. Not a very good haul. I also got a book too. Because my daughter loves the coloring of it. And she loves Italy. So I didn't realize that I already have this one. It's almost the same. Mine's bigger. But that's okay. I'll give my daughter the second one. She's coming in August. There's a little bit of a line up here, but I'm going to try to see how long it's going to be. Let's see. Wish me luck. Oh, this lineup's not bad at all. It's moving, moving, moving. I'll be in in just a couple seconds. I'm in. This is a very organized store. It's organized by color. Those are really pretty, aren't they? I don't need them, but they're beautiful. If you needed some pretty bowls. I like to mix dishes, like to have that with like maybe just a plain white bowl, uh, plate underneath. Or 
I act like I'm entertaining or something. I don't even know what that is. If you're ever having a party though, like these are the best dials for like um, punch bowls and glass plates and stuff for like putting your foods on. And they're, they're really not that bad price. This kind of stuff's pretty cheap because there's such an abundance of it. Ah, uh, $15 for that little thing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. He's cute though, cute bunny. Little silly doggy. <sighs> It's not very busy in here, actually. I think they're only letting a certain amount of people in. But this is really nice. It's pottery. It'd be great for shrimp cocktail, don't you think? But there's only one. You need at least two. Have a sexy time dinner. Huh? I just love how it's color coordinated in here. I don't know what it is with me and these freaking lion heads. <laughs> I love them. I like that, cherubs. Everything that glitter isn't gold, but in my eyes it is. Little trinket box, I can't get it open though. This is cute, that could be cute in the bathroom. Oh my God, it's $6. A little bit, a little bit pricey for me today. But if you can't in the bathroom, I like that it's got its own little stand, right? Oh, they've got tools in here, but the thing is, you don't know if all the pieces are there. There's so many crock pots in these um, stores. It reminds me that I never want one. I thought about it for a minute, but I think it's better if you have a family and you can throw your dinner on and leave. I see personally, the OCD in me would not allow me to leave that plugged in. So I unplug a lot of things when I go out for the day. So when I go away, I unplug everything little crazy on no that's really cute i like it 20 bucks i love the coloring it's funny how a year ago i didn't really like green and now i'm all over it well actually two years ago i bought green, green velvet drapes so i guess that started my trend on it but they're dark they're so dark they almost look black i wanted black velvet but i couldn't uh find any of my price point these are some little Caribbean pictures. I want to fix up my foyer, and I definitely have to do my bedroom. I know what I want for my bedroom. The wallpaper I want is just really expensive, so. Courtney, my daughter, has a girlfriend named Jess. She's just a lovely little girl. She's in Columbia right now. But this girl can paint anything. So I was kind of hoping maybe she'd come help me out. This is a beautiful beautiful planter it's 20 bucks so I could buy that brand new for 20 but it is cute it's not my look like that Indian Tasnak oh beautiful dresser that's a nice little project oh my gosh look at that press tag hmm I think I'll pass Facebook marketplace if you get a score you get a really good score this is a little Van Gogh. It would look cute in a little boy's room, don't you think? I like it. I'm always looking at the art. I love art, but I like things that are a little more unique or original. Everybody has their own taste in art. That's something I would not pick for people. Um, the only thing that angers me a little bit when people put it up way too high on their walls. It's just like, come on, guys, bring it down. Oh, look at this little stool. Oh, it opens up. Isn't that a cutie patootie? That's really cute. How much is that? Oh, but it is cute. I'd be opposed to it. Yeah, very organized store in here. I don't even know if I could fix that table up too well. Um, it's $320. Lots of big art in here. Even if you got the canvas and you get someone that can paint on it, it's like you can get it at a good price. It's really good. Oh, a little creamer. That's cute, huh? There's a little tea potty set. Oh, you could have a little tea potty if I had a granddaughter. Isn't that cute? 
I like these for under my plants. I have a big plant in my living room. Mm, it's twenty dollars. I think a little, little too much for my blood today. I did find a little stool underneath there for five, and the little wicker stool I found, I'm going to put uh, books on it. Oh, that's too bad. That would have been a really cute dish. I would have got that for Judy. Um, the stool reminds me of my first apartment in the seventies in Vancouver. I don't know if I'm going to paint it yet, but I am going to buy it for five dollars. I don't know what that's for. There's holes in the bowl. <laughs> Do you like silver? I like a little bit of silver here and there. I used to have a really nice tea set. Another soup tureen. It's missing its ladle, though. A lot of them are missing ladles. That's so hard to find it with one. I seen one a week ago that was stunning. If I had a bigger house, I would have bought it. Now this is the little black section. It's really nice how they do this. So everything's kind of color coordinated for your for your own taste, right? So I like that. The books in here are good priced. Some of the other stuff, not so much, but the books are better than Value Village. The prices are um, $3.99 for hardcover, so I'll definitely look. I find some of the other stuff in here overpriced. I got this for 99 cents. I'm going to use it for... Parmesan or hot chili flakes. I got a belt for $1.99. Now I'm running up to Scarborough here. There's another line up, but it seems to be moving really fast. So I'm going to jump into this line and see what this used to be my favorite, favorite, favorite Goodwill in Toronto. It's in Scarborough. Look how much trinkets they have. I see a bunny. Mmm. I wish you had a little bit bigger head. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in the cart and think about it. I, oh, there's another bunny. See, that's the size of head and ears I like. Yeah, I like his face. It kind of reminds me of my other two bunnies I got outside. Uh, it's a maybe. I'll shop around and take a boo. But lots of trinkets here to pick from, that's for sure. This is a full store. Oh, and this guy ready for the stampede. Got his little pig's got his cowgirl outfit on. I think the stampede's this month in Calgary. Oh, I could fix that up for Judy and make it black and white and make it look like... Um, well, actually, it looks more like Phil than it does uh, Lucy. I don't think she wants a dog with a clock. I'm just playing around. Kind of like that. Oh, always check the walls out. You might find some little trinkets on there. Another pretty bowl. They're great for like jewelry on your dressing table and stuff. I don't really have a walk-in closet anymore. I used to. Yeah. I think I just saw something. Oh, it's actually, no, it's not the same as hers. Okay, I was going to grab something for my girlfriend, but she collects these little tea lights for her dining room table. She's got a really nice dining room set up. She's got a family to come to it too, though, right? I love this little picture. Isn't that a cutie? I have three pictures, so I don't need another one, but I really like the size. Be nice for freshly squeezed orange juice for Sunday brunch with some champagne on the side. Oh, I'm dreaming. Oh, I'm going to make this really good um, sweet potato kind of shred it with uh, an egg on top. I'm going to try it out one day. I've seen it um, in a few pictures and it looks really good. I'd like to season mine up quite a bit though. But oh, I'm going to figure out how to make one. Like a nest, sort of, you know? A nest of sweet potatoes with the egg in it. Sounds yummy. Again, a lot of glassware. This is the party central, if you're having a party. Can't find a pot in here, either. Uh, it's not that I can't find a pot. That one has a spout on it. I just want it to be a little heavier. 
um, so that it, you know, for sauces and stuff, so it doesn't burn like a cast iron bottom or something. Hear me with my blues. I like, I don't know what it is with that blue and white. I like it. Mr. and Mrs. Piggy, just what you always wanted. Oh, this reminds me of my childhood. My mom used to let us girls have tea potties. She had this china cabinet with the round front, the bowed glass, and she'd make us tea parties, and she had those little wee tiny teacups. We used to think we were real special when we'd hold our pinky out. Good childhood memory. It was fun. I wish I could find a nice food processor. I blew the engine in mine, and mine was used like four times. It's past returning date because I hadn't been around. I went away for a while and stuff. And anyways, it angers me I spent all that money. I'm looking for a big basket. This one's not going to be big enough. I want to do up a basket for my daughter's... Um, in-laws it's their wedding anniversary coming and i thought i'd do a couple nice bottles of wine and a bunch of stuff for a big path to dinner for them i don't know what to get them so definitely will give them a little gift though yeah i thought i could do like fresh bread and pastos and fresh tomatoes beautiful homemade pasta that's a beautiful little white dress it's lined and everything it's a Ralph Lauren. If I had a little girl, I'd buy her that. So I did end up getting the bowls. They were um, $7.99, I think. Or $6.99, I can't remember. There's five of them. They go from a 5-inch to a 10-inch. Just going to wash them all up here and get them away. I didn't really need them. I just really liked them. I like the coloring. Coloring. And I got a book that's like my other um, one, but I'm going to give this one to my daughter. So I picked it up for her. Not that she wants to travel on a plane with a big book, but. And I found this and washed it up. That's my thrift haul from today. Well, Saturday. I don't know when I'm going to get this up, maybe on Monday or Tuesday. I got this as well. A couple books. This one, oh, this one's beautiful. Another one on Italy. And then I got Oscar night. I thought this would be fun to look at all the pictures. For I think it's 75 years of pictures from Vanity Fair. Beautiful. This will be a fun book for the night. Yeah. Oh, look at how they dressed. I love it. Back in the 40s and 50s. And... Oh, and there's Audrey Hepburn. She was a cutie, wasn't she? And then good-looking Rock Hudson. He was a good-looking man. There's no doubt about it. That's Bridget Bardot, I believe. Oh, Barbara, she was. she's stunning. She's so unique-looking. And what a voice, right? Jodie Foster, she's so young there. This is going to be a nice book to read. Make myself a hot lemon water and sit on the sofa and read this up. Mm-hmm. He grabbed, oh, she's grabbing his bum, too. <laughs> so cute. Aw. This is, this is nice. Okay, got something to do tonight. Read my new Oscar book. I love him. He's a good actor. Very good actor. Oh, Julia Roberts' smile. There's nothing like it. Susan Sarandon. Look at that, eh? She, in Pretty Woman, she was just stunning. Oh, there's Kate Hudson in this hat. Um, John DeVolta's wife. Oh, Paul McCartney's getting his groove on. Sandra Bullock looks amazing. She getting her sexy Tom toes massaged. You go, girlfriend. I know those heels sometimes. They're called limo shoes for a reason. And I wear high heels. But, oh, when they pinch, whoo! Hallie looks happy there. She's another beautiful woman. Very, very pretty girl. 
Oh, this is going to be a fun evening. Oh, I'm looking at all this. Oh, good picture of Mick. He's like looking on the side. Who's over there? <laughs> well, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for thrifting with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, join my journey on Sunday for my weight loss vlog. Oh, there's Liza. And, oh, I did get a um, cupcake holder. I thought it for tarts or cupcakes or whatever. It's in, it's really heavy bottom. And I got a belt for $1.99. I got the cupcake thing for $4.99. Three books is haul. Uh, a little shaker, an old shaker. And uh, was there anything else? Yeah, the bowls. The bowls. Not a big haul, but I enjoyed myself. I'm not going to leave that orange book over there. I'm just setting it there for now. I put those in my pantry. As you see, I probably didn't need them, but I like them. They're really, really nice. They're heavy, too. Those are the ones I was talking about from England. I love them. I'm missing one size. They are a set of three from back in the day. But I'll find it in my journeys of thrifting. I forgot I got these little spoons. They'd be great for sauces on your plate, or you can use them when you're cooking to measure out stuff and... Yeah. So thanks for following. We'll talk soon. Have a great day. Bye.